What's going on everybody? It's your boy X coming at y'all with a brand new video continuation of our top five series. Right now we're doing the top five centers in the game. And if you guys want me to do kind of a budget version of this where I go through, find a lot of the nice budget cards at each position and kind of like go through and do all that, I can definitely do that for you guys because I feel like I've been getting a few questions about it and I feel like I definitely um, can do that if you guys really, really want it. Uh, so just let me know down in the comment section below. Remember, we don't do 12 no reward cards and we do this based off of primary position. So keep that all in mind when we're going through our list. So starting in at the number five is a card that I had on my list last time. This one is switched up just a little bit, and it is Artist Gilmore. I still love Artist Gilmore. I still think he's one of the best cards in the game. And honestly, it might just be personal bias to why I think Artist Gilmore is just amazing. Um, he's just good, you know. Seven foot two center that really can do it all. You can see I really like him. I ain't lying when I say I played a lot of games. Artist Gilmore, two hundred twenty-eight, uh, and he's got two all the time badges: back down punisher and box. Twelve nice real gold badges, and it, they're really all about defense. <laughs> like Artist Gilmore is a card that I like just because he plays insane defense. Like he's so good in the defensive end of the ball. Has an 82 driving layup, 92 post fade, 87 post hook is so overpowered, especially at seven foot seven, a seven foot two frame. Uh, 80 overall mid range, 34 three point shots. So obviously he's not gonna be shooting any threes, but 80 standing dunks. If I'm driving, ain't too bad. Eh, on the playmaking, but he's a signer. 95 block, 94 interior defense is going to be insane. 94 offensive, 95 defensive rebounding, a 65 speed, 25 speed balls, 50 acceleration, and a 49 lateral quickness. And honestly, um. Yeah, like I said, he's just a defensive rebounding center that I use all the time to get blocks, rebounds. And honestly, oops, a real nice one is Gilmore too. No lie, you can just kind of lob it over everybody's head uh, and dunk down real nice. Um, he's a token reward card if you guys are wondering and honestly one of the better ones if I do say so myself. And overall, I think he is a really good card that if you guys are looking for a cheaper option, but still a really, really, really good card, Artist Gilmore is definitely one that I think you guys should pick up. Um, that's probably the last of the cheap options, if I'm being 100% honest. <laughs> and starting in at number four, we have Pink Diamond Wilt Chamberlain, who honestly is just a beast. I know a lot of people actually have been tweeting about how they're switching away from Wilt Chamberlain, uh, probably for the cards that are higher up on our list, but he's still a really, really good card. Uh, three other fame badges, pick and roll, rentless finisher, and drop stepper, 18 really good gold badges. A lot of them um, defensive, but some of them are scoring as well. Um, inside the paint, has so a defensive leader as well. Has an 86 driving layup, 95 post fade, and a 95 post hook, which is really good. 70 mid range, 43 three point shot, not too great, but it ain't too bad. 95 standing, 85 dropping dunk, playmaking, not great, but a little bit better than Artis Gilmore. 95 block and interior defense, 96 offensive rebounding, 98 defensive rebounding, 85 speed, 25 speed ball, 85 acceleration. That 85 speed is going to be absolutely insane when it comes to beating people down the court. And a 59 lateral quickness overall. Really, really, really good. Um, Wilt, again, is more of a defensive center, but with Wilt, you get a pretty good mid-range, just like Artis Gilmore. He has the nice post moves, and the dunking and finishing ability is higher than... Hmm. I really have to stop recording videos right like when I wake up, huh? Because, like, damn. But, uh, yeah, you can just finish a lot better than a lot of the other centers. Um, and I honestly think he's a lot better than this Andre Drummond card. The stats aren't very different, but I feel like he's leagues better than this Andre Drummond card when I've used them uh, both a significant amount. And honestly, Wilt's the way to go if I'm being 110% honest. Um, our next is a Diamond Center who luckily is right here. And it is Anthony Davis. Is Anthony Davis just came out. I'm pretty sure this is the new one. It is. And it's a beast. A 6 foot 10 um, center. Obviously, it doesn't sound like the greatest of cards, but a 95 driving layup, 93 post fade, and post hook is amazing. A 80 mid range and an 82 three point shot. It's awesome. A huge upgrade from his other diamond. 85 free throw, 95 standing, 90 driving dunk is awesome. The playmaking's eh, but he's a center, so it's all right. 88 block, 66 steal, 64 perimeter defense, and a 95 interior defense is just awesome for a center. 96 offensive, 95 defensive rebounding, 79 speed, 70 speed ball, 78 acceleration, with a 71 lateral quickness. And this is where it gets great. Six all the fame badges, pick and roll, cross key score, intimidator, run protector, relentless finisher, and lob safety finisher. Also has quick draw, uh, 
you know, fancy forward, you can see that there. Tireless defender, pogo stick, defensive leader, um, difficult shots, hot zone hunter. Like my man's has hella, hella badges. And all of them are really good things that are really going to help them out. And Anthony Davis with quick draw is just insane. Also, Intimidator and Run Protector, if you guys didn't know, some of the best badges in the game. The Intimidator is just insane. If you guys aren't using a like a center that has at least gold Intimidator, you're going to want to get him because Intimidator is so, so, so good. Really underrated badge. Um, it's honestly overpowered if we're being real. Uh, but still a great card. And Anthony Davis is definitely one that I would take a look at. And you, know, you can pick them up, lock it in. I think you get 100 tokens for locking in this moment of the week, week six. Um, so, you know, go check that out. And it doesn't look he's uh, that expensive. So, yo, yeah. big up. Oh, we already again. God damn. <laughs> Our next center at number two is another pink diamond center, and it is Tim Duncan. Timmy D. I was surprised when I actually looked at him because of how good he is. I didn't expect the card to be that great, but he's actually insane. Uh, 12 Hall of Fame badges, brick wall, pro touch, pick and popper, post pick technician, drop stepper, pick and roll, lacrosse key score, back down, punisher, post move, lockdown, intimator again, box, and rim protector. 20 really good gold badges, including catch and shoot. He's got quick draw as well, rebound chaser, all of the good stuff. My man is a beast. Yeah, he's actually such a good card, and it's amazing that Tim Duncan got so much shine this early. And I'm annoyed that I really just haven't picked him up because I should. Uh, 84 driving layup, 93 post fade, 98 post hook. Has a 95 mid range, 83 point shot, 88 free throw, 88 standing dunk, 85 driving. Um, Playmaking is actually pretty decent for a center. Like it's not too bad. Uh, definitely think get some work with it. A 96 of block, 85 steal, 70 perimeter defense, and an 80, I mean 98 interior defense, 97 offensive, 88 defensive rebounding, 80 speed, 40 speed wall, 79 acceleration. The only center I think I've shown so far faster than that actually is Wilt. Uh, has a 70 lateral quickness and overall just a great card. Tim Duncan's release, even when quick draw ain't the fastest. Like it's still good speed. Like it's not. Just, it's just not hyper quick. You know, like a Blake Griffin release. But um, if you guys didn't know, he has one of the highest release points in the game, which means it's super hard to contest him because he's already six foot eleven. And then he has that super high release point, which makes it super hard to contest him. And he can just shoot over everybody all the time, uh, making Tim Duncan's midi just super deadly. Um, love this card. I definitely think you guys, if you're looking for really top center that isn't um, this next one, you should definitely pick up Tim Duncan, despite him being 400k. Uh, and last but not least, the best center in the game, who I didn't even have on my top five centers uh, before, but I have on it now because of the update uh, to his release is david robinson with the update of quick draw david robinson is easily the best center in the game it's not even in competition and honestly if i'm being real the only galaxy open reward that i would warrant getting grant hill is okay penny doo doo if you're going to get one get david robinson if you're going to get a second one get grant hill but i would recommend getting david robinson if you want to get one and then waiting for the rest David Robinson is absolutely insane. A seven foot one center, 99 offense and defensive overall, 20 all the fame badges, brick wall, deep fades, pick and roll, contact finisher, pick and popper, back down punisher, worm, post move technician, drop step, tireless defender, post move lockdown, pogo stick, lopsy finisher, rebound chaser, rim protector, moving truck, box, intimidator, defensive leader, and heart crusher. 23 gold badges, quick draw, and so many others. I mean, look at all of the badges that he gets, man. And then he's got three really good defensive badges and flashy passer and has gold, I mean bronze clams. And he's low key. He's probably pretty nice at the power forward, but you can't run him there. Um, which it kind of sucks, but those badges are just insane. And then the attributes just further back it in that he is the best center. A 90 driving layup, 98 post fade, 96 post hook. Has a 98 mid range, 86 three point shot. Remember with that quick draw and super butter release, it's amazing. A 90 free throw, 95 standing and driving dunk. Playmaking is okay, not too great though. An 88 block, 77 steal, an 80 perimeter defense for a center is just absurd. It's so good. A 98 interior defense, 97 offensive, 98 defensive rebounding, 84 speed, 85 speed, 54 speed of ball, sorry, and a 84 acceleration. Has a 79 lateral quickness, and it's just so, so, so good. Um, David Robinson every year is always amazing, and honestly, I probably should get back on my 2K grind so I can pick up my last four. Um, you know, pink diamond rewards and then start working on my guy like Opal. But I just haven't been playing a lot. Almost four days working on COD and I'm almost SS2 in Park. So, like, I just haven't been playing a lot of my team. Um, the mode just really hasn't been appealing to me, but I do play all the spotlights and all that, obviously. Um, like the video, guys, did enjoy. Comment down below um, what you guys think of my list, what your guys' list is personally, and if you guys, you know, have any 
want for the budget series because um, I can definitely whip that up and get that out to you guys over the next you know bit of time if you guys want it and also let me know if you guys have any ideas for series I do want to get one out so please if you guys have any ideas let me know in the comment section below hope you guys have a great rest of your day subscribe if you guys are new we're on the road to 2.7k and I'll see y'all in the next video